Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 34 tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. Today we are going to learn about jobs. So what are jobs? So jobs are tasks are scheduled to the OS to be done uh, maybe at one time or one given point of time or maybe repeatedly uh, based on the need. So suppose uh, you have a website where you want the tokens to get expired uh, every day at certain point of time. So this can help you to do that or uh, you are dad right now and you you need to schedule some tasks maybe four hours later and you don't, you don't want to wait that. Then that time also you can use these jobs to execute your task. Or uh, if you suppose um, you, you want to send daily newsletters at a particular time so you can schedule a, a job or a script to run at a particular moment and then initiate the send email process. So typically it's used for automating your jobs or tasks so there are two types of jobs number one is add jobs and number two is cron jobs so we will see each of them one by one so what is at at jobs so these are mainly used for executing a job only once for a given time so if you want to learn more about that you can type man at and it will give you the tutorial like you can use with different switches like ATQ will give you the uh, whatever jobs are there in the queue uh, we'll see that with examples this is just for your reference so suppose you want to ex execute something at a at some some time maybe uh, two, uh, three o'clock so I can just write the time here is showing 1422 so we'll type at Maybe 1430, 14:30, and what? So suppose I want to create a directory, mkdir and test. Maybe test one. All right. Then we'll type control. We'll hit control D to execute. Uh, to exit this particular job entry. So we'll hit control D, and we are out of that. Uh, job tasks so it's scheduled to be executed at time 14 30 hours now how to see what are the different things that there and then the job list will type at minus l so that it will list down all the jobs so there's only one job scheduled right now or you can also type atq so there's one job task at the list so uh, this is not very useful because it just executes a job at, at only once so the another kind of jobs which you can ex schedule or to run repeatedly is cron jobs so we'll clear the screen first so cron job is executed by a, a daemon called cron d it's inbuilt in the linux system you don't need to install anything so it repeatedly does a task or executes a script or anything for you so first of all you need to see what all things are there in the cron job you can type cron tab cron table minus l so no cron top for this particular user that is student right now if you want to remove or in all the all the cron jobs for current user you can type cron tab minus r it will remove all the cron jobs for this particular user since we don't have any cron jobs it's giving an, a message saying that note cron tab for the uh, for the student ah. then uh, if you want to edit it you can type cron tab minus e it takes you to the default text editor here uh, vi is my text editor by default so this is giving me a screen so this might look little weird to you because uh, if in case you are looking at the first time you might wonder what exactly it is but don't worry uh, you can also rely on uh, creator or generators for cron job cron jobs you can just type cron job generator and so many sites are there which will help you to create the cron job suppose i want to execute a script every minute every hour every day every month and every weekday and command to execute will type here maybe slash test dot sh this is a shell script all right 
so uh, we'll generate a cron timeline so how it will look like so it says star 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 then test dot sh and then dev null to greater than ampersand one so what it what does it mean so we selected right now star that means for each and every minute that is the first field here for every minute every hour that is second field third is every day of the month fourth is every month and fifth is day of the week so we are saying that okay if every minute every day every day of the week no matter what day it is execute this particular script and if there is any error send it to this null file all right so if you can just copy this line go to our editor hit i to insert mode and then right click paste you're here we'll hit enter we'll hit escape colon wq that's how you save the vi editor and done so the cron job got saved now let's see what exactly it, it had we type cron tab minus l so this is the list of my cron jobs so every minute and like i explained it will execute this particular ex script so suppose if you are trying to send uh, or you want to see the load on your server you want to create a create a flat file with some some data or some uh, parameters that you want to pass or some command you need to run you can put in the shell script and it will execute every minute in case you want to maybe you are trying to archive your server every last day of the month so what you will select here we want to select uh, maybe what time midnight maybe 11 59 will select all right 59 11 and uh, maybe half of the month maybe right or every 10 days let's see what 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 it does i'll show you then every month we want okay now we'll click on generate cron tab line so here you go you see that 20 uh, 59th minute 23rd hour and every 10th day it will run this particular script so as for the parameters it got changed so play it around do whatever change you want to do in a test environment slowly you'll become comfortable then you won't be required to uh, visit these websites for creating your own cron jobs i would like to add few more examples here with some text shown in the, on the screen for you so uh, one thing you can also do if you want to just replace your existing file with some other file suppose you have imported a cron job from some different server some some file name is maybe vivek.txt and you want this file to, to replace the existing cron job file that you have cool okay so, so okay we will create the file touch vivek dot txt so that uh, suppose that imported file is vivek dot txt and the existing cron file we have in place you want to replace that so what you can write is cron tab and then vivek dot txt file if you hit enter it will replace the existing cron job file with this particular file but we are not going to do that if you just type cron tab and hit enter it will move to command prompt and whatever you type that will be entered into your cron job we'll just do a control c and we'll get out of this so a few more things is important like um, i know like when you keep on adding different lines or different cron jobs you don't exactly know what exactly it's meant for what different shell script is meant for you need to go and verify manually that becomes a tedious process so to overcome that you can also add comments here like i can I'll add a new line character saying that put a hash that starts the comment I'll write this is my first cron job cool so i will know that this is what this is the purpose of this particular cron job is so 
initially it might look not very useful but uh, if you are a programmer you will definitely know what exactly it is meant for another thing is that what exactly this uh, dev null means so for this shell script the output should be redirected to dev null file which is always a null file nothing is written over that now that 2 greater than ampersand 1 what does that mean so in case there are any error again show it on the screen and send it to dev null file right so that also solves the problem of throwing error on the screen so at the end of the cron job command or any command typically you add this per ampersand 2 thing so it causes the standard error or output to be redirected to standard output what the normal output is and it also ends up here in dev null file so nothing is displayed on the screen but it goes into dev null file so no noise is created even if there is any error running this particular script so that's all for this tutorial guys hope you have learned something new uh, do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any further updates in the next tutorial we are going to learn about booting process in detail don't miss that